when I was about 12 years old, I did something. And for the life of me, I don't remember what it was, but I was in big trouble. And I knew I needed to do something to appease my dad. And I was wandering around the house because I was grounded, right? Not allowed to leave the house, stuck. I was like, what can I do? Because I don't honestly think that I was willing to admit that I might have been wrong, but I needed a gesture. And so I did what I'd seen him do many times. I picked up the phone, I called the local florist, and I ordered an arrangement to be sent to him at work. I thought it was a brilliant idea. It's something that he did whenever he was in trouble with my mom. But did that grand gesture really make an impact? I have no idea. Again, I already told you, I don't even remember what I did. And if I were to call my dad, I bet he doesn't even remember that I did the grand gesture to get out of trouble or the fact that a month later he got the bill in the mail from the account and he had to pay for my own grand gesture. Not my best work ever. But it leads me to what I'm thinking about for business today. I'm Lisa Levy, the founder and CEO of L-Cubed Consulting and the Disruption Catalyst speaker. And there are so many things we do at the beginning of a year to kick off the new year. Do they actually add value to our business, to our employees? Does anybody care? So my question for all of you is, as we've started this new year, how many kickoff meetings have we had? How many things with pomp and circumstance where we're talking about our corporate goals, our quarterly revenue targets, how many of these conversations have we had? And did we ask anybody if they actually matter? I have a belief that the grand gestures have less value than we want them to have, that it's more meaningful to have ongoing conversations on topics that drive from month to month, quarter to quarter, and build a relationship with our teams that lets everybody participate in the journey rather than telling them our lofty goals and dreams. I think it's important as leaders that we celebrate successes along the way, but how and when we use the grand gestures, I think we really need to reconsider. In the chat, join the conversation. Tell me about things that you've done that are not the traditional ways of communicating new ideas, goals, and purpose. This is the beginning of a conversation. I'm Lisa Levy. Thank you for joining me.